Hey guys, uh, this is a quick video where I'm going to show a, um, a Qt app that I've been working on. If you don't know what Qt is, Qt is a uh, desktop and mobile application um, API. So sort of like uh, if you were to target Linux, you'd have to write with the X, write an X Windows system code, uh, Windows Win32 or Window R Win RT. Um, Mac, you'd have to do Cocoa and all that. Um, QT wraps all that for you so you never have to actually ever touch the low level code. It's all high level. Um, it's nice. C++, one API target, every platform, etc. So what we have here is we have a app that I made uh, today actually um, that takes a the CC edict or C edict uh, library so this is the basically the entire Chinese language or at least most of it um, in a text file and it parses it I'm not gonna have you wait through the entire um, list but generally um, what you'll see here is um, we have the entire dictionary or at least part of it whatever was loaded Put out in a table for us. Um, now each one of these we have the pinyin, so there's the different um, columns. Here is traditional Chinese. So let me go down. I'll search down. Uh, let's go 500 down. Okay. So as you can see, here are some traditional. Here's the simplified versions. Um, the pinyin with the tone marks, the accents, and the um, the English meaning. So here that wasn't very English. They're sort of just telling you to see another thing. But for instance, here, stubborn and flexible. Oh, that's what it was saying. So basically, these mean the same thing. Um, so essentially. Uh, this isn't the most um, efficient application because it is a lot of these cells um, but it is a good example of a simple QT app that's also very useful as well um, while this because this is this is offline so if I was ever um, doing let's say you know studying Chinese but I couldn't I didn't have access to the internet so I could no longer um, and, my, and my cell phone was dead. I could just open up the zap that I made. I can have it load up and then I can just search. Um, eventually I'll be able to search by something legitimate like, um, you know, keywords of the English meaning or the pinyin, um, even the characters themselves, keyword keywords of the characters themselves. But um, yeah, so this is a simple app. Um, let me know if you want me to uh, show you well, first of all, let me show you some of the code because I, I always um, talk and show the app, but I never actually show the code. Um, so it's it's just two two one class file, um, two implementation files, the main of course, um, and then my C C C form. It has about ten or so member variables, um, four functions. These are all having to do these three have to do with decoding. And parsing the um, text file, so there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. Um, like here, because I have to convert, I have to convert the the pinion with the numbers next to them to the actual tone uh, version, so the Latin characters that go with them, based on the tone marks. And then I also have to parse out um, the English meanings. Um, that are between these these backslashes. So I use, as you can see, I use uh, at a lot of places. I use these um, regular expressions that basically will parse out um, certain strings based on delimiters, etc. Um, and then I just uh, create the widgets, add them, populate the widgets, and that's how you get this. Well, not that, but this. 
Um, so let me know if you want me to do uh, a thing, a tutorial, or some sort of um, lesson about introduction to Qt, showing you what it is, um, how it can be useful. And uh, yep, that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.